Alright, so here we are. We're going to do a pre flight inspection of a 1970 MD500. This is a C model. You can tell by the V tail in the back. So, first things first, we're going to go check out where we can find out how to do a pre flight out of the POH. So, coming over to the MD POH, flip it open, come up to general. Here's normal procedures. Look at that. Section 4. Similar to the Robinsons. Really everything's the same. Pre-flight requirements, pre-flight guide, engine pre pre-start cockpit check, everything. So we're going to start off with daily pre-flight checks. 4-3. So flipping over. 4-2 kind of gives you a schematic of how the pre-flight will be started. We start from the front, work our way around the right side, then back around the left side and up top. We're going to do this whole checklist and then check, recheck it uh, via the checklist to make sure we haven't missed anything. The do and verify method. Alright, so first things first, we're going to do a preliminary check. We're going to come down to the bottom of the aircraft. We're going to check the fuel sump. Here we are, we're on the bottom of the aircraft. Here is your fuel sump right here. Very simple design. All you have to do is push up on it fuel will come out into a container that you'll be holding underneath. Um, you're going to be looking for water, you're going to be looking for any debris, sediment, dirt, you name it. If it's not clear or Jet A looking, then you've got an issue. Alright, so we're going to start from the front of the aircraft. We're going to wear, work our way from the top and work our way down. So here's your outside air temperature probe. It's going to show you on the inside of the glass here a dial which will show you how warm the air is outside the aircraft. I'm going to check the canopy, check, make sure all the uh, the windows are nice and clean, any cracks, scratch. Make sure the rivets are not coming out along the seam here. Work your way all the way around. Inspect all the rivets, all the glass. I just clean this thing so I still need to do some touch up work. So coming on down, this is your fresh air vent. It works on a flapper, so there's a little pin going across right here, and it just, right now it's like this, and it'll just flip straight open when you pull the fresh air vent line out. Right below the fresh air vent, you're gonna have the single landing light. This is once again on the 500C model. I'm not sure what they're like on the other models, but at least on the C model, there's one light. Right below that is the pitot tube. Check underneath the aircraft, all your antennas are properly installed. You got some drain plugs right there, antennas, Pro, more antennas. Check the bottom of your fuselage, the belly. Make sure all the rivets properly in, um, installed. Your inspection panels, you name it. Make sure it's there. See this little guy right here? This is your fuel vent, fuel tank vent. There's one vent right on the bottom of the belly of the aircraft so there's no obstruction so it can vent freely. So coming up from the bottom of the aircraft we're going to go, go move around to the right side of the aircraft. You can see, I'm not done cleaning here, but uh, check out the condition of the pedals, the glass. So you're on the right side of the aircraft, you're going to once again check all the skin, all the rivets, make sure they're all nicely fastened. These are your two mounting points for your front right door. There's two mounting points per door. You really screws there, nice and tight. Coming down to the lower uh, attachment point for the front right door. You can see it goes into the, uh, the frame there, or the, the skin. Screws are nice and tight. Coming on down, I'm going to do all the outside stuff first. Skins, skins nice and tight. Coming up here. Nice door handle. Coming up, I like to check all the outside stuff first. Here's your, this is the back right door, once again, another pin, uh, uh, another attachment point for the door. Another attachment coming down. You check the condition for the front right door and the back right door. Attachment points, here is the back right step and so it attaches by one bolt going inside so we'll check that here out here in a minute but make sure 
It's not going anywhere. It's a beautiful step. Nice design. So starting at the front of the right skid tube is your position light. You can tell it's green. This is this bracket screws onto the tip of the uh, skid tube right here. Make sure all those are nice and tight. Walking down the skid tube, here's a skid shoe. Make sure there's adequate clearance on the skid itself and that it's not coming out. Bolted here and here on both sides. Some anti-slip tape. Make sure that's not coming off. This is at the base of the front right strut, okay? Coming down off the bottom of the aircraft. Attachment points, once again, you want to make sure all of them are nice and tight. The, the actual strut is covered up. You got a fairing, your strut fairing. You want to make sure all the screws are nice and tight all the way up. Coming up the uh, skid fairing is the cuff. This cuff keeps all the dirt, dust, debris out of the uh, the damper area, the shock absorber area. So to check the condition of the damper, the shock, all you're going to all you have to do, put your hand up here. It may take two hands depending on the strut. So just pull down, and you can check inside. Make sure that the actual strut is not leaking. Not a lot to see, but you just want to make sure it's not leaking on the inside. Once you're done with that, just let go. And that is that. So from the from the cuff itself, you can check. You can see where the uh, the skin is beefed up. The frame is beefed up here, right around that attachment point for that strut. So down off the cuff, down the strut fairing, and the step. We'll continue walking down the strut. Check the condition. No deep scratches, gouges, nick, nicks, corrosion. Um, you're gonna have here's the nice wheel here. You're going to have uh, another strut with the strut fairing and the cuff at the very top. Same inspection, all the screws are nice and tight and you're going to pull that cuff down to make sure there's no leaking uh, around that strut. Skid shoe, so skid shoe number one, skid shoe number two, and skid shoe number three up where it bends. Coming up from the back right strut, we're going to go and check our fuel. Let's flip this out. Twist it, pull it out. Make sure if you just fill up with fuel, check the level of the fuel, make a visual check on that. All right, so right above the gas cap, filler cap, just work your way up. Here's the handle. This is your oil cooler inlet. This is where all the cool air gets sucked in, cools oil down, and then it exits right here, right above it. As you can tell, here is the uh, sight glass for the oil and this is where you can also add it. Here's the sight glass, it's a little dirty. Well I've been told, I don't know if it's true, but you can just take this cap off, twist it, pull it out, and as long as, as long as you can see oil down in there, you're good to go. Don't know if that's true, but that's what I've been told. Um, you're supposed to check the oil in these things within uh, within 15 minutes after shutdown. So this thing hasn't been started up in a couple days. The oil level would be inaccurate anyway, so it's okay. Um, but I do need to research this. Uh, you should be able to see it from the side glass, but you cannot in this one. 